Hi, my name is Doug Hugervorst. I work with Business Impact, a business intelligence consultancy. And I want to take a couple minutes here to talk about EPM. We've got your back. We started working with EPM back when I was at Ross Systems. I helped found the, the line and today uh, EPM is, I don't want to call it on a deathbed, but Aptian, the parent company of Ross, has announced that it has a new analytics line and that those customers who were on EPM, well, there's not much product life left there. They're not being pushed out, but what do you do? So the subjects of our upcoming videos in this series include what is EPM? What are my options? Who can help me? And making your best choice. Of course, that's the most important thing. Now, as I mentioned, I started at Ross and helped start the EPM line back in 2003. Um, we work with business intelligence at more than 100 different customers worldwide. Uh, more than 15 of them or so, or roughly 15 of them or so, are Ross clients um, in all different industries. Now, the video about what is EPM, you know, when we were trying to decide to put this series together, one of the things that occurred to me is that, frankly, when I talk to Ross customers about what EPM is, which it stands for Enterprise Performance Management, and again, it's been the BI tool or business intelligence tool or suite for Ross for, for roughly 10 years, but most people don't know what they have. So in order to establish a common language, make sure that everyone knows what the components and parts are, what your license covers, what your maintenance is paid for. And really, the other part is that, you know, oftentimes Ross customers have bought EPM, maybe not implemented it, or maybe not implemented it as well as they wanted to, and they have to decide, do I have anything worth saving? So we're going to look at that uh, roughly about 10 minutes or so, uh, what those things are. The second video will be a little bit different. It's going to be focused on what can I do? Of course, you can stay put stay on the EPM tools and such that you're running now, use the implementation as you have it. Uh, one option is to be able to migrate up to full Target and Wearscape licenses. Now, if you watch the first video, you'll find out that Target and Wearscape are components in the Ener Enterprise Performance Management or EPM suite. One option is to go to Aptian Analytics. We'll talk about that. Um, a fourth option is to blow it all up and start from scratch. And of course, a fifth is to just use Excel and continue to um, you know, do things manually. Of course, EPM and business intelligence, in our opinion, is our passion because it's about getting the most out of the systems that you have and you know, reaching the dream that you had when you put that Ross system in in the first place. It leads us to a third video. We weren't really sure about this one, but I think it's really important because one of the things that's so hard about business intelligence, and Aptian mentioned it at their uh, conference, that you know a lot of a lot of projects fail is that there are a number of different skills. This is not just a technology project. You need to have technical skills, of course. But you need to understand the systems that the technical skills are trying to access. You need to understand visualization, how people react to different things. And of course, probably the most important thing to us, you know, we've always said you have to understand business to build a business intelligence solution. And it's that business acumen that we have. I think one of the things in this video that you, we hope to point out is that you know, the people who put this in for you, the team that you use, make all the difference in the world. The tools are good to a point, but make, people make the difference. That leads us to our last video. That's going to be about making the best choice. You know, best choices aren't always exactly what you want. Sometimes there's a trade-off. You've got to understand what's going to cost and what the return is going to be getting out of it. Those of you who have EPM, but maybe not using it as well as you'd like, what could you be getting out of it if it was implemented properly, or if you had done it differently, or if now that your business has changed, you made changes to go along with your business intelligence. Of course, we're going to focus on a little bit, who do I act with? We'd like to point ourselves out a little bit, but there are other players in this. And when do I need to act, of course, is always an important thing, too. Um, depending on where your maintenance is, what your plans are, uh, those different questions come out. So again, this is just an intro, but our plan is to do four videos, all roughly five to ten minutes. And of course, we'll be willing to talk with anyone about specific questions at any time. But what is EPM? What are my options? Who can help me? And making that right choice at the end.